Right, good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Let's look at this beautiful weather. It's currently 17 degrees, just after half past four. It's not even quite the end of March yet. Absolutely beautiful. Off to Bike Park, Wales on Saturday morning with the lads. Weather looks to be really good for all weekend. Staying overnight, just outside Bike Park, Wales. Not sure quite yet what we're doing on the Sunday, but we're riding somewhere else. So it should be a really good weekend. Looking forward to it. This will probably be the last video now before I start and drop the Bike Park Wales stuff. So stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. So tonight, just come for a leg stretch really, a bit of a de-stress after work, it's been a bit of a nightmare day. Covid at the minute in retail seems to be worse than it was at the beginning of the pandemic. More staff off at the minute, still having to stay off for at least 10 days, myself included in that a fortnight ago. And the problems it's causing is unreal. Anyway, enough of that. I've come out here to get away from work just to let a bit of steam off and there's no better way than jumping on a bike and knocking a few miles out. So just coming down the old pit road uh, from Ecom Roadway in, past the uh, golf club, drop down into Pines, just do a, a few mile around the uh, red or blue, not decided yet. Done a bit of bike maintenance over the last week, seems to be all money, money, money at the minute, but that is the nature of the beast. Got some new headset bearings in. Replaced light for light with the blue seal bearings that have lasted 18 months, so really can't complain about those. Great value for money and a really good product. I've had to replace the jockey wheels on the rear mech because they were completely shot, so that's shifting really nicely now. And I've had quite a bit of play in the frame for a while now I finally got round to getting to the bottom of it with a bit of help from Ryan Smeaton and another guy off the Calibre forums so after replacing all the shock bolts um, and all the pivot bolts and pivot bearings I still got quite a bit of play in the bike when I lifted it up and I thought I'd done something serious to the bike um, what everybody was saying it will be either the eyelet bushings on the rear shock or the hardware that fits through it so I've replaced both and lo and behold absolutely no play in the bike whatsoever so delighted with that was a little bit worried and I've also changed the tires to tubeless I'll say I have I haven't Stuart Robinson did them for me so thanks mate much appreciated be interesting to see how the bike holds up in Bike Park Wales on some of those fast corners running a bit lower pressure so looking forward to that I'm still finding my feet a bit with uh, getting the right pressure but so far so good and hopefully no more punctures so just for reference I think this same week last year it was snowing about this time and today it's 17 degrees tomorrow possibly 18 and they are forecasting the warmest spring for 160 years. Whether there's any truth or that, I don't know. Because every time we get to winter, they say it's going to be the worst snow for 100 years. It never is, so we'll see. But I'll take this every week of the year. 365 days a year for me. It makes such a difference. And the clocks are going forward Saturday night, so you get an extra hour of daylight despite losing an hour of sleep. I'll put up with that. Right, if you're a regular visitor to Pines, you've been in the last couple of weeks, you may, or as I didn't, may have not realised one significant change on the Red Route. They've now changed the name to the Outlaw Trail. So, the Kitchener Trail is gone. Albeit at the minute, it's still exactly the same route. 
I think in my head it'll always be the Kitchener Trail. But yeah, it's now called the Outlaw Trail. Swallowed a flight. Rumour has it that there are some big changes coming to both the red and the blue later this year. Which might explain some of the uh, names on some of the segments disappearing. We'll have to wait and see. But at the minute, it's the same route as it has been for the last I don't know how long, with a different name. I've just had to stop and put my phone on silent because it's fucking pissing me off. Every five minutes, what's at this, what's at that? So I'm not from fucking work. First thing I do when I get off next week, turning my fucking phone off for a week. And it's not going back on until I go back to work. It really is getting on my tits. Not sure if I mentioned it on a previous video or not, um, but I got my email from the London Marathon the other week. Didn't get in. Really not bothered, to be honest. Uh, I'm actually quite relieved. I have got the Great North Run on the 11th of September. I've never done that before. Really looking forward to that. It's only half marathon, so I won't need anywhere near the amount of time and effort that I put into running London last year. So it's taken a bit of pressure off. I am going to be raising some money for the firefighters charity. But looking forward to that. 50,000 other people running it. Should be another great day. And then a week or two weeks after that, I've got three days riding in the lakes to look forward to as well. So all good. Maybe they're starting early. Have to wait and see. So if it's now the Outlaw Trail, you're going to have to uh, think of some rude names for some of the new segments that could be along the Robin Hood Outlaw theme. Drop them in the comments below. I could do with a laugh. This one might be called Fry Tuck's Fanny. We'll have to wait and see. Mount. It's about time they sorted that out. It's not like a lake. Lovely that. That'll always be Tornado Alley. Even the wind's nice and warm. Best time of year this. definitely something happening. I will keep you informed as it happens. 
perhaps they're naming a section after me. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I've probably ridden the red as many times as anybody else. About 500 times, I think, according to Strava or thereabouts. Anybody beat me? Probably quite a few pine cycle lot will. Couldn't be asked with rest at red tonight. Bit of a play on here. Nice and chilled, nothing too dramatic. somebody coming the wrong way and that could be very dramatic a couple of them braking bumps make your teeth fall out isn't it yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Red Route, the Outlaw Mountain Bike Trail. Blue Route is now Robin Hood Cycle Trail. So the Viking Trail's gone as well. Wow. I'm gonna have to do something then to live up to the change. Not just change your name. Curious to see what's holding up this line being reopened because we shut for ages. I know I shouldn't be down here, but it's pretty quiet. The tree's gone. open, what's up there? That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at Bike Park Wales in a few days' time. You can see that two deer straight in front, the fluffy white tails. Just gone bolting down the field. Absolutely stunning. Well, that was going to be the end of the video, but uh, that was just too nice to miss. I'm glad I've come up here now. I've just seen two deer running across the field. You might be able to make them out. It might be a little bit dark on the camera, but directly in front you can just see two white tails. They were right up to this fence, but as soon as they saw me, they scarpered. I'm just going to sit here for a little while and see if they uh, come back. 
but they don't normally get anywhere near you. What a beautiful evening, what a stunning sunset. Well worth the climb back up here. Spring is most definitely on the way. Hallelujah. But I don't think that'll still be there by the time I start rolling down the hill. A little scarper. We'll see. Here we go. There we go, are you watching over the fence? Wow, they can jump. There he goes, or she. Incredible animals. Absolutely stunning. Every time that this don't look steep on camera, but it is really steep. Oh. And we're down. That's definitely the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe. See you in Wales.